Majority respondents in the EU ASEAN Business Sentiment Survey believe that Southeast Asian nations are not doing enough for green supply chains. Council Executive Director Chris Humphreys shares his insights on the findings. There are several things that come out from the survey. There's the perennial one about the need to remove non-tariff barriers to trade right across the region. Um, it's something that ASEAN collectively says they're going to do, but are making very little progress on. I think the other one that comes out from the survey, perhaps looking more into the future, is the need to do more on sustainability issues and climate change issues. And, and this is a big problem for any investors coming into the region in the future, whether they're European or American or Japanese or Korean, because companies everywhere will only be able to make investments in places which are making progress on tackling climate change issues. He stressed that many European investors will be pressured to only consider green businesses. I think it's very, very important now for any country in the world to be seen to be taking sustainability issues and climate change issues very, very seriously. Companies everywhere are under a lot of pressure from their home regulators, but even more pressure from their investors, their shareholders and their customers as well to make sure that their investments are done in a way which is good for the climate and good for communities and shows good governance as well. So I think governments throughout the world, not just here in Southeast Asia, but everywhere, need to show that they're taking firm action on things like energy transition. So moving away from fossil fuels for your electricity generation to more renewable energies um, or cleaner energy solutions is one big step they can take as well.